Cultivated chicken, yes, cultivated chicken officially entering the U.S. market. The USDA approved Upside Foods as well as uh, Eat Just subsidiary Good Meat to sell the Cell Cultivated Chicken. Now, both companies plan to introduce their product with well known restaurateurs. Yahoo Finance's Brooke De Palma is here with the details. And Brooke, I was jokingly calling this Petri Patties, but there's a little <laughs> bit more to it, I hope. There's a little bit more to Jared. I, I mean, this cultivated meat, first, let's start with what exactly it is. It's made from animal cells and essentially these huge steel tanks. It's then fed nutrients in order to grow the meat. There's no animal bones in it. It's just the meat that's growing within these tanks. It's then harvested, prepared into recognizable shapes like think chicken nuggets or chicken cutlets and then package. Now, the big news here today is that the USDA gave two companies final approval to sell their cultivated meat products, particularly when it comes to chicken, here in the U.S. So those two companies are Upside Foods. Once again, um, they are they actually got FDA approval back in November, and now they're able to sell their products. They're going to debut with three uh, Michelin star chef Dominique Crenn at her San Francisco bar Crenn. In addition to that, Good Meat, once again, that's Eat Just subsidiary. They're known for Just Eggs. That's a, a brand that you may know more than Good Meat, but they're set to debut with chef uh, Jose Andres. Of course, he's known as not only a restauranteur, but a humanitarian as well. It will debut at a one of his uh, Washington, D.C. locations. No word yet on when exactly these products are set to hit the menus there or which exactly uh, Jose Andres restaurant it will be at. But both companies ramping up production today based upon this USDA approval. Uh, Brooke, what kind of price point are we talking about? Yeah, well, Akiko, you and I spoke to uh, Uma Valetti, Upside Foods CEO, back in December. And ultimately, because production remains limited here, right now Upside uh, Foods can only produce about 50,000 pounds and the ex expectation to be able to produce about 400,000 pounds in the near future. This is making the cost of these products higher. And when we spoke uh, to Upside Foods founder and CEO Uma Valetti back in December, here's what he had to say about that. Our aspirational goal at the moment is to beat the conventional prices, but initially we're going to start off with premium pricing when we come into the market, which we hope is really soon. And that's because we are on a small scale, but in time we expect our products to be at parity with conventional meat, but that's going to be five to 15 years away. Now, a similar tone from a spokesperson from ups, uh, from Good Meat, rather, saying that pricing will be similar to that of a restaurant, saying, quote, we strive to work with restaurant partners to price our chicken dish on par with traditional dishes. As we scale, costs will come down. Now, that spokesperson went on to say that they're actually willing to uh, lose money here. They're saying we're not making money on sales yet, but it's important that our consumers are paying what they would for a traditional dish. There's no word yet on if and when these products will enter supermarkets. Of course, that is the goal here. But by starting with these restauranteurs, they're really looking to introduce, to gain customer interest, and then ultimately scale from there. And so this is just the beginning of what may become another cultivated meat war, I guess we could say. <laughs> Stay tuned for more, for I, sure. I like my meat wars cultivated, as I do my chicken. <laughs> Petri patties, watch out, everybody. It's going to be a thing. All right, <laughs> Yahoo Finance's Brooke De Palma. Thank you, as always.